us gather the remaining herbs this All Hallows' Eve and seek the blessing of souls long past. It is known that ointments made from herbs gathered by moonlight have more potency. But my lantern is broke. I shall have to make another and quickly or I shall lose my footing in the woodland. Maybe you'd like to make a lantern as well. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. You will need a piece of card, slightly bigger than A4, a second piece of card, maybe slightly stronger for the base of your lantern, and a pipe cleaner, and a little candle to put inside. The last thing you need is a piece of tissue that we're going to use for the glass. In Tudor times, we used to use pieces of horn for the glass in our lanterns, but these days we have tissue paper or maybe a piece of plastic that you could use. I'm going to start by choosing my piece of card. Now to make it look like an authentic Tudor lantern, you would be better maybe choosing a darker colour. However, I'm going to use a light colour today so that you can see better, more clearly what I'm doing. We're going to start by folding our card in half. We need to actually fold this card into six pieces. But it's easier if we fold it in half first and divide each half into three. Now to help you to fold it, just score the line with a pair of scissors, which will make it easier to fold. There we have our card folded into six sections. Now, the next thing we need to do is to draw a line two thirds of the way, way up. Now those of you who are good at your maths will know how to do that. My piece of card measures 24 centimetres. So two thirds of that is 16. So I'm going to put a little mark on number 16, and one in the middle and one at the end. Draw a line. At the bottom, we need a line one and a half centimetres, or just a little way up from the bottom where we're going to fold it in to stick to the base. So not too big, but big enough to stick. The next thing we have to do is to measure the middle of the rectangle at the top. So this is 5.6. So half of that is 2.7. And we're just going to draw triangles for the top section of our lantern. I'm going to start cutting this just to show you what it's going to look like. We do the same thing, but not from the middle, just a little triangle for the base of your lantern where it's going to fold. And then we must fold it along the line. And when you've done that, it will look like this. I have another one I made earlier. This is what it should look like at the end. You can see the shape of the lantern beginning to take place now. After that, we need to make windows in it. Now, for the windows, we need to make a hole in the middle of each side. And the way I've used, done it is to draw around the edge of my ruler because it just so happens to be the right size. To make holes in the lantern, if you have a piece of blue tack, that's very handy, put it underneath your card and stab your scissors into the blue tack so that you won't damage your mum's table nor will you damage your own fingers. And then poke your scissors into there and cut out from the inside around the window. Once you've cut all the windows, your card will look like this. Now the next thing we need to do is then to stick our windows on it. We need some glue. Just put it along the edge of all the windows and then fold it again to get the, right, the folds in the right places. And now it's time to start assembling our lantern. We need to stick our handle on it. With a piece of sellotape, take your pipe cleaner, stick it to the second of the points and the second one this side as well. And then very carefully assemble all the top pieces together. So this is quite a tricky bit. You need to be patient. As you can see, your pipe cleaner is folded together and it becomes a little handle. Just one last join to make and that's on the final. We're going to leave that open for now and make our base. 
we fold it down the bottom and I'm going to stand it on top of my stronger card and draw around it. I'm going to put some glue around the edges of that hexagon and when we stand our lantern on it, it will stick. We're just going to pop our little candle inside for our lantern and then we need a final piece of sellotape and there you have a beautiful new lantern. Now I must go and gather those herbs. Thank you.